Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. Before we hop in, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you like the video. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you resonate with your girl. Definitely hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. This is going to be an Agape Ascension reading. It is a collective reading. Okay, so for those of you guys who are not familiar with the Agape Ascension reading, it essentially is a spiritual reading and general. So really whatever comes out, but it's more towards assisting you um, on your Ascension journey, okay? All right, so I'm being guided to start with the Ask and it is Given Oracle. We're going to start there. I hope you all are doing well. Um, if you're new, I'm sorry, welcome. Um, and if you're returning, welcome back, spiritual family. This is Intuitive Flow. And we're going to get into it. Yeah, I was just guided to do the Agape Ascension reading for you guys. Um, it's actually late. It's 12.28, okay, in Cali. So I'm up. I cannot sleep. So I figured I'd come and bless the collective. Well, I actually was guided. So I said, okay, let's do it. And excuse the background noise, my window is open. All right. Hold on, Spirit. Go ahead and give me the messages for the collective, please. As it pertains to their agape ascension, what do they need to know at this time? Holy Divine Spirit. What does the collective need to know at this time? Oh, I didn't even see that fall. So we have absolute well-being is the basis of my universe. Okay, absolute well-being. And it says well-being is the basis of all that is. It flows to you and through you. You only have to allow it like the air you breathe. You only have to open relax and draw it in your being oh i love that absolute well-being is the basis of my universe so i'm definitely getting that as tapping into the highest version of yourself your higher being and it's stating it doesn't have to be that difficult it doesn't have to be hard collective it's as easy as breathing the air, waking up and breathing, relaxing into it, okay? We have, my uncontrolled thoughts are not to be feared. Mm -hmm. I like that. And it says, there is no reason to worry about your thoughts, for they are not like a loaded gun that may wreak powerful and instantaneous destruction. For you have plenty of time, as soon as you become aware of any negative feelings, to begin to choose other less resistant thoughts and thereby choose a more desired outcome. Ashe, I love that. So you have control over your thoughts, Collective. If some of you have been experiencing negative thoughts or feeling as though you are unable to control them, just think, if you are aware, are you, if you are aware enough to identify yourself having negative thoughts, you can be just as aware to switch that thought 
to something more positive. And this can be in regards to anything, a person, a place, a thing, a relationship, a job, anything of that matter where you are being affected in a negative way that is causing you to think negative remember everything it has a polarity okay if there's negative in that situation place or thing there's some positive so tap into the positive about that negative thing if that makes sense okay and the last one here we have I am rediscovering the art of allowing my natural well-being. Wow, a lot of energy around your well-being. We call this discipline the art of allowing. It is the art of allowing the well-being, which makes up every, every particle of that which you are and that which you come from. To continue to flow, to continue to flow through you as you become, as you continue to be. So i got to read that again. We call this discipline the art of allowing. It is the art of allowing the well-being, which makes up every particle of what, which makes up every particle of that which you are and that which you come from. To continue to flow through you as you continue to be it. You are, okay, the positive energy that you allow to flow through you collective at this time is you. You are that positive energy. You are that spark. You are that light. You are that light being. As that flows through you and as you think it, so you become it it becomes easier to just flow naturally. And for a lot of you, I feel like this has a lot to do with the thoughts that you may be experiencing that is causing you a bit of friction in regards to being this higher version of yourself and relaxing and sitting in that energy of well-being, okay? I'm getting the energy. If some of you are feeling as though you're... Um, your health is being affected again i can't remember which reading that was but depending on your lifestyle and what you practice maybe you know there's people who don't really do medicine or you know um that's not what they decide to draw to if you are a more holistic holistic person start to research and look up things that can assist you and what you're feeling as if okay how can i articulate this so if you let's say if you feel like you you are having more migraines than normal okay look up some type of herb okay or some type of plant or crystal or what have you that assist in aids and headaches or migraines okay for others of you if you are comfortable going to an actual physician i would look into that i'm not saying it's migraines but that was just an example okay all right so let's get some more here let's see Go ahead and provide me messages for the collective at this time as it pertains to their agape ascension, their soul activation. All right, we have justice, okay? Libra is coming through. I like this, that justice is the first card out. Because this is letting me know at the end of the day, collective, no matter what, justice is served for you. At the end of the day, you're going to get what is due you. you you're going to get what you deserve in this journey, in this life, in this ascension, right? Because 
at the end of the day, like I always say, there's going to be different forces working against you. But no matter what, justice is here. For others of you, um, I'm getting you're definitely going through some type of legal situation. You are in the midst of it. You're preparing it. Okay, some of you guys may be coming out of it. Um, Page of Cups. This is some really, really good news in regards to the when it pertains to court. Okay, with the Page of Cups, um, I definitely feel like it's in regards to a child or something of that nature. But this is also telling me that there's good news and good energy around this case or around this process. Um, for others of you, like I said, this could be something that's just starting off. Is there any more here? Six of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Definitely somebody's going to be willing to compromise with you if this is some type of justice, uh, some type some type of legal case or trial or anything in regards to like the legal system. Um, I feel like things are going to turn out good for both parties. Both parties are going to get what they want. Um, in other news, I just feel like Right now, you have to focus on who focuses on you, collective. You really have to give attention, energy, time to what gives attention, energy, and time to you. Because reciprocation is a major part in any relationship. And although your journey, your spiritual journey can be a lonely one, there is a... There is a time for co-creating co and building healthy friendships and relationships as well. Yeah, Ace of Swords. A lot of you are definitely uh, gaining clarity around this because for a long time, maybe some of you thought, oh, because I'm on a new journey, because I'm choosing to take a new route, um, that th this is going to be lonely or, you know, I have to be by myself. Um yeah, there's a there's a time for isolation during your journey, but you have to come out of that. And I feel like at this time, there's a need to gain clarity around. Again, I'm just hearing reciprocation, reciprocity, give and take a good balance. Um, also, prioritizing things like literally getting into a, reg a regimen or a regime, however you want to say it. Because there's going to start being things that need to take more priority over other things. This goes with people as well. Okay. I also see some truth coming in. Okay. Um, with the pay, with the Ace of Swords and the Justice card, you're definitely going to get to speak your peace. You're definitely going to get to speak your truth. I'm just seeing the energy of someone like um, being investigated or being questioned or something like that or being asked to say some final statements. I feel like your final statements are really going to be what takes your case over and allows you to win. Okay, I don't know who I'm connecting with, but yeah. Three of Cups, yeah, and then it's going to be a mass celebration here. There's going to be a celebration after this well-deserved win, okay? Um, I'm also seeing an energy again of coming together with friends, um, family, people who genuinely care about you and genuinely want to see you do well and genuinely want to see you thrive, collective. I definitely do see that. Um I just, I keep hearing, um, this is well-deserved. This is well-deserved. I'm also hearing great job. I'm hearing you did that. 
So I wonder if some of you are the ones that work in the judicial system or in the legal system and you're going to win a case like you're the uh, you're the attorney. Some of you guys could be a judge. Maybe some of you guys, if you're a judge and you have a tough case coming up, I feel like by the time the case comes around, you're going to, you know, figure out you're going to know what to do. And I feel like. I'm hearing something about a jury, like a jury is really on your side. Okay. That's not for those of you who may be a judge, but that's for those of you who are going through this. Okay. Let's clarify this justice here. Holy divine spirit, please clarify the justice card here. What is this in pertaining to? Four of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So you're not, you're choosing not to miss out on opportunities anymore. And that's good. And again, that's where that justice comes in because you're choosing to um, just be bold and be brave. Okay. Um, a lot of you as well, I'm just hearing like you came a long way. You came a long way and you recognize when opportunities are being graced upon you from the divine. And for some of you, you may have missed amazing opportunities in your childhood or in your younger adult life. And you are setting yourself up for success when you are ready and in the receiving mode to the universe to deliver to you and i feel like with the four of cups in the reverse you're definitely open okay you're not you're not overzealous you're not you know feeling as if you have everything you need you know you don't need anything else it's like no you're open and you're willing to receive assistance to receive love to receive help to receive uh support whatever it may be okay you're coming out of an energy of being stubborn which is good yeah we have the temperance card clarifying the page of cups yes and i definitely feel like with the temperance clarifying the page of cups there's an innocence to your energy as as you move forward in this journey i feel like i'm getting a i'm getting the energy of I'm hearing starting over multiple times, but not in that way. It's more so like this energy of being open and available and balanced and patient with yourself is it gives you a real giddy feeling like you just feel really excited about this new journey. Um, I do feel like. For others of you, though, with the Page of Cups and the Temperance, there is an offer of love coming in. There could be a reconciliation, somebody wanting to come in and apologize to you, collective. Okay. I'm getting the energy of somebody wanting to apologize for um, flying off the handle is what I'm hearing. Somebody just wasn't themselves. I'm also hearing somebody had a little too much to drink. I feel like you're going to welcome this person in, though, because the temperance can speak of reconciliation. But just because you, you know, accept someone's apology, that, that doesn't mean you have to move forward with this person, especially if they're not aligning with um, your new journey. I got to put something on this table, y'all. My crystals are scratching it. We can't have that. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Whoa. That was the Queen of Pentacles. Where are we at? 19. All right. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, please, for the collective. What is the Six of Pentacles as it pertains to their 
agape, ascension, Holy Spirit, Holy Divine Spirit. The Five of Cups here. Yeah. Um, for some of you, I do see an energy of disappointment. Okay? An energy of grief, of loss, of sadness. I'm hearing that song, um, Dust yourself off and try again, try again. If at first you don't succeed, you can dust it off and try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you may be experiencing some type of sadness right now. Um, I feel like it's in regards to Feeling like you weren't being reciprocated, feeling like you weren't giving, you weren't getting what you were putting out as it pertains to someone. But I feel like that's where this apology is coming in. Now, the apology might be coming in a little too soon and you may not be ready to receive this apology. Clarify this five of cups. Why is the five of cups here? The seven of pentacles. Yeah. Wow, so it goes from the set, the six to the seven of pentacles here. So I feel like, collective, be aware. Like somebody, whoever this is, who's going to be trying to come back and apologize or reconcile with you, they are coming with more than um, you bargained. Like I feel like they know if they come to you with an apology, it, they have to be coming with something. They do want to invest. Um I'm hearing, uh, um, what is it? I'm hearing, um, interest. Like this could also have something to do with money. If you loan somebody some money and maybe they skip town or you haven't heard from them, they've been ignoring you. Um, they're going to be reaching out and I feel like they have more than what you lend, what you lent to them. For others of you, I'm getting an energy that you're fearful of the energy you may bring into your orbit, if you will, uh, by strangers. Okay, I'm hearing strangers here. Some of you guys are very sensitive at this time, like your intuition, okay? Some of you guys could, I'm also getting, I'm, I'm hearing like some of you guys could be breaking out at this time. Um, also, some of you guys may be like, you may find yourself crying out of nowhere. And it's not really out of nowhere. It's, it, I'm, I'm getting a pent up emotion, a pent, a pent up sadness. I'm seeing here, this could definitely have something to do with money or losing money or losing some type of asset or some type of tangible item or materialistic item, but it's going to be returned to you tenfold collective. Don't worry about that. Okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords here. Clarify the um, Ace of Swords. I'm getting the energy of struggling with being truthful. Also struggling with hearing the truth, recognizing the truth, understanding the truth. Um, the Knight of Swords, yep. But for a lot of you, you're going to get slapped in the face with the truth. It was like it was coming in slow with the Knight of Pentacles. And then with the Knight of Swords, boom, here's the fucking truth. So be aware, collective, like you may 
be hearing the honest, brutal truth, okay, at this time, someone may open up and be honest with you about how they feel, um, about what they want from you. Somebody, I'm just getting a very demanding energy. I'm also getting an impuls impulsive and a very fast moving energy. Like some might, someone who doesn't really care what they say and how it affects the person that they say it to. Um, there's an owl here. An owl is very significant. I just heard words of the wise word to the wise word to the wise this could also be you collective communicating in a very effective way communicating um your wisdom or your your gifts or your light also okay i want to clarify this knight of pentacles here this this communication or this offer is very very slow to come in but what is this What is this that is slow to come in at this time? Holy Divine Spirit, clarify this. Wow, the devil, the Capricorn energy. So, hmm. This is definitely giving me the energy of something creeping back around. There's an energy of addiction surrounding you right now, collective. Some of you guys could have went through an addiction. Some of you guys could be struggling with one. Some of you guys could be preparing to even go to some type of rehab. But there's going to be a test here of your willpower, okay? And I feel like the test is going to be gifted in a very pretty bow, but remember, the devil uses old tricks, same old tricks, same old thing, okay? Same old game, where you go, remember me, I'm the best thing in history. I don't know why I just start singing that, but yeah, I just feel like collective, please be aware with this devil card and the knight of pentacles, something like sneaking up on you, um, in regards to your past or in regards to some type of addiction or codependent, something is attached to, I'm, I keep hearing corrupt, corrupt system. Okay. Um, Somebody could also be trying to get you to invest into something now for some of you This could be a lucrative endeavor, but there's going to be a lot of research you need to put into this before just saying yes I'm, I'm getting here take your time before making a solid commitment or decision and whatever that is in regards to okay Could be a Capricorn trying to uh, Approach you doesn't have to be but that is the energy of the card Let's see, what's the Three of Cups? You know, the enemy doesn't like when we are ascending, okay? So he's going to always show up, especially when we're moving forward and moving on up. <laughs> Indubitably, <laughs> we have the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. A lot of you guys are definitely going to... <laughs> You're going to reject this, this toxic offer, okay? Because this could also take place like at some type of party or event because this is clarifying the three of cups. And I feel like there can be some type of party drug or party favor offered at a party and you reject it with the four of pentacles. Like you hold back, you, you like, nah, I don't do that no more. I'm not with that no more. I'm just here to have a good time. I'm just here to enjoy myself. I'm just here to see the ladies. I'm just here to see the guys. Like, I'm just here to, you know, mingle. Like, I'm not about that. Um, I'm not about that, like, 
that devilish lifestyle, you know? Doing coke and all that shit is what I'm hearing. Like, there could definitely be some coke involved or... Um, I'm also hearing um, a Mickey being slipped. So I feel like whoever passed this test, good for you. Because for some of you, and I don't know who this is for, this is very specific, but a lot of you have a chemical imbalance if you, if you do indulge in this. Sorry, I thought I heard somebody knocking. If you do indulge in this, there's going to be some type of chemical imbalance here and it's going to throw you the fuck off. And that's going to be victory for the enemy. Okay, so I don't know who that's for. But be aware, okay? All right, so let's get some closing energy. I want to do um, Surrender Oracle. Let's see what the collective needs to surrender at this time. Holy Divine Spirit. Okay, it says, surrender to receiving support and love. Didn't I say that earlier in the reading? Like, wow. I promise you, I channeled that in the beginning of the reading. I hope it was this one, because sometimes I do that and it'd be a whole nother reading. But yeah, allow the love and support of others in, rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and stimulate and simultaneously nurture you. Okay. I like it. Surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. I love it. I love it. Let's get one more. One more, Holy Spirit. Okay. Surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego timing. <laughs> if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universe, the universal flow. Ah, Holy Spirit just checkmated us right there. Okay? Okay? Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. That was a bar. All right. I'm done, collective. I really, really, truly hope this assisted you. I love you. And make sure you like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ashe.